welcome back to Adobe Live. I am joined by the fabulous <laughs> Sarah Raj. And my name is Lindsay Monroe. I work on a social team for Adobe XD. And today we are bringing you some live streaming goodness. Yeah. Sarah, we're going to create some magic today, aren't we? We're going to create amazing magic today. Well, at least the start of it, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? All right, so Sarah, before we get into it, we should talk a little bit about who you are and then what you have um, planned for us for over the next three days. Sure, so if we could switch probably to my studio. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a little <laughs> switch Um But uh, I'm a product designer. I work in LA and I work for a startup. It's an online interior design startup. What's it called? Um, it's called Lauren Wolf. So if you guys haven't heard of it, go go check them online. Um, they're pretty great. I have a um, professor named Lauren Wolf. Actually. Oh really? Yeah, I wonder if she moved to LA and started a company. <laughs> anyway, no, she yeah. like yeah. the Who knows? Who knows? Um, and then uh, prior to that, I was working at the Boston Consulting Group, Digital Ventures, out in Manhattan Beach. So I was with them for about uh, almost three years, and I worked as an experience designer. Uh, worked in various different industries: um, healthcare, finance, insurance. Um, so been in design or involved in design for a long time now. So so this is the right place for you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be using XD to create something cool over yeah, the next few days. Yeah, we're going to be creating. Um, we've got a whole bunch of people following us in chat. We want to say hi to Claire and Walter, uh, Voodoo Val, who's a fan favorite, um, Armando. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, let us know in the chat where you're coming from. We're yeah. in San Francisco right now. You're from L.A. From L.A., but um, I lived in uh, San Francisco. I went to school out here, grad school out here in San Francisco, so I'm I'm familiar with San Francisco. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. We'll probably have to talk more about that later, but uh, we should follow you on Twitter. Your handle's up yeah. there. Yeah, I got my handles up there, so if you guys can see um, on Twitter, Behance, Instagram, so if you want to always like reach out, collaborate, just talk about it's design. the beginning of a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feel free to reach out. Um, so kind of like going over the next three days, day one, day two, day three, um, kind of going over the process today, design brief, what we're going to create, um, and then going over rough sketches, and then we're going to jump into wireframing, um, and then kind of like placing all of them together, and then building out the architecture, and then we'll get into visual design tomorrow. So I don't have a name yet, so oh. it, it would be really nice to sort of like get a name and then ideas for a logo. Um, I think that will be really, really great to sort of integrate tomorrow. Um, and then we'll be going over some onboarding screens as well. Um, and then well, we've got a really international audience following in <laughs> here, so we are going to be relying on you for your awesome contributions to help yes. with these things. So we've got England, Romania, London, Portland, Chicago. Brazil, Chicago. <laughs> so good, so good. Um, Lots of great folks following along. Day three, we're going to review wireframes from the day before. Then um, I'm going to do another quick um, sort of uh, design uh, mobile app. Uh, it's going to be pretty aggressive. We'll see how far we get along um, on day three, uh, kind of going over a uh, brief, build a wireframe, and then prototype it. So nice. See. Yeah. All right. So what do you got mm. for us? So this, this is like the process. So when you go to create or design an app, mm -hmm. th this is the process that you follow along with? Yeah, so kind of uh, in order to create any app or any sort of product, it is um, there is a step-by-step -step process. And I don't like to jump in and then dive into hand drawing and already, because I like to go through uh, the process of like understanding what the market is, what the problem is, what are we trying to create? Um, are there people in the industry who are already creating a certain feature that we're trying to build, or is it is there a different way of approach? So kind of like understanding the market entirely, doing competitive analysis, and then initially like brainstorming initial ideas, you wanna get them out and kind of like um, have them aggregated and then you can like always revisit and then flush them out. Um, I love that you started with not just user research, tons, tons. of user research. Yeah. Just can't emphasize that point <laughs> enough, right? Uh, we need to do a lot of user research before, so because you want to be, um, you want to have as much as knowledge before creating a product, um, and you want to be able to know who 
who are the people out there doing better or not, and then how we can differentiate ourselves. So, um, so tons of user research is good. Uh, and then diving in and doing user stories and then journey. So along the way, how the users are going to be interacting um, and then developing personas. So which is very essential because we need to figure out like who are, you know, what the personas are and who we're creating these products for. Um, and then again, rough sketches are always a good way to sort of flesh out the initial thoughts that you have. And, and we're going to show you some in just a bit mm -hmm. because they're not going to make sense to you until we dive into what the concept is. But don't worry, yeah. sketches will be shared. Yeah. Um, and then low fidelity wires. And then alongside of it, we're going to be flushing out uh, user flows and then building sitemap. And then initial style guide. So I feel all of that has to be in parallel because you are building, if you're starting from scratch, um, it's good to sort of like start in parallel and then quick prototyping where you're validating ideas and then making sure that you're, you know, you're putting it in front of uh, users. It doesn't have to be sort of fully fleshed out, but just like rough sketches are fine. You can even like, you know, take screen grabs of your sketches and put them up and then quickly like uh, communicate the idea, which is very essential. Um, See is great for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then iterate, iterate, refine, iterate, build. Um, and then final designs where it's more about at that point you've uh, figured out your style guides, brand guidelines, you're going through all of it. It's more like you're getting ready to, you know, hand off to dev. Um, and then before that handoff is usually, I like to do something called alignment where everybody, if there's a stakeholder involved, like everybody's on par, uh, everybody knows what the product is, and then we hand off to Deb, and then we both build it. Sounds good. Yeah. So before we get into the work you're going to design today, mm -hmm. um, while this process is the ideal process, yeah. we're going to ask the folks at home to skip over some of the steps today yeah. to participate in our challenge. So we have a design challenge going on. You can check it out in the design challenge tab of the stream. Um, we're looking for you guys to create a mobile app or homepage screen themed around the World Cup. So what it's would you exciting. say would be in a World Cup app? Um, what would uh, a lot of a lot of visuals, a lot of like score points, um, tracking, and then being able to somehow visually encapsulate all of what's going on and being able to deliver that. I think that'll be pretty cool to sort of. I mean, See. this lady is going to be a helping judge. In <laughs> fact, you know, we might have to defer to her judgment really in picking the winner <laughs> later on. So, I would I would hang on to these words. We're looking for quality over quantity. We don't need 19 screens. We're looking for one, but we will take more than one. Mm -hmm. um, so, take that into consideration. And of course, we do have a chat giveaway and. Uh, 20 minutes or so. So stay tuned. Lots of good stuff on the way. Yep. So now we are getting to the point mm -hmm. where we want to actually hear about what you're going to be designing. We now know your process, but what is the thing? So the design brief is that um, we're going to be creating a mobile app for young pregnant women with um, sort of recipes catered towards their uh, stage in pregnancy. And by that, it's like a, a way to sort of um, help young mothers um, to you know eat right they're always particular about what they want to eat and then how much that is sort of you know um, being able to help their baby the nutrition value in it um, so we're gonna actually dive into that um, a little bit and this is part of um, a larger ecosystem so we're taking one sort of like module which is the section that we're gonna actually build over the next two days um, so yeah so. so, and how did you come up with this this project idea? Like, where what is this based off of? So this is actually based off of um, this this project um, we created about two two and a half three years ago um, at my previous work, and this was for a specific Chinese demographic. So it's very uh, interesting in the sense that how culturally they approach design versus like how we approach design here. Uh, it's a lot of challenges. Um, so this is already out there. So this is more trying to be able to um, refine what's already out there uh, and then being able to translate into how we would perceive design out here. So. Cool. It, this came out of like a lot of uh, research that went into um, went into research a lot, and then we went through a lot of uh, stakeholder meetings, and then there was a massive process behind 
uh, how we came up with the with the app. Well, the good news is is we may learn a thing or two about healthy eating. Period. No matter <laughs> you know, man, woman, pregnant or not, I think we'll get some uh, insights around healthy meals and nutrition based on this app design, or maybe not. We'll see. The right. pictures will be nice yeah. anyway. Visually. Um, the last time I hosted Adobe Live, we did this like grocery app, and uh-huh. by the end of the stream, both the people watching as well as myself and right. the hungry. designer were very hungry. Yeah. So I feel like we are now facing this once again. Yeah. But we will power through, friends. So I'm going to just ask Paco to throw on the sketch camera so we can kind of show some of your rough sketches. Do you want to talk a little bit about? Sure. So these are very, um, very, very rough sketches, sort of like getting the idea out there. And then obviously when translated this into wireframe, it's going to look way better. Um, But these are just like ideas, initial ideas, and then kind of going over. Uh, we're going to be building out three tabs where it's one is um, daily recommendation and recipes um, and then another one is nutrients and the importance and the value of uh, the nutrients and how it helps the uh, the baby and the mother mm-hmm. um, and then the other tab is can I eat so understanding what is it that you can eat what is it that you you, know, you don't want to eat and then things like that um, and then kind of like going over the different sort of, you know, the pre, what are the vitamins that are important, the prenatal vitamins, um, being able to categorize them under different sort of like, you know, it's protein, carbohydrates, uh, magnesium, et cetera, so on and so forth. Um, and then uh, being able to understand if you were to select, you know, a protein, like what is the importance? Like why are you eating certain protein? So it's like being able to also understand what is it that you're eating and how it benefits you. Um, and then going over little, you know, different food um, that provide protein and then recipe based on that. Um, cool. Yeah. We have more sketches. I think I have on the other side. So this is just basically yeah, um, kind of going over the different recipes that you can build out and then being able to understand what is it that you don't want to eat and just just being, being aware, just being aware of what you're eating and what you're not. Great. Yeah. Very cool. So let's get to it. Let's awesome. like start designing some cool stuff here. Um, have you predetermined your color palette or anything like that? Or are we just, no. we're going to see how it goes? We're going to see how it goes, but you know, I would love suggestions of like how, or we're like what color to use, what color not to. I'd love, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys to sort of like understand color. I probably need help with color, name. We need a name for the app mm-hmm. and then um, logo ideas. If you guys have any like great logo ideas, we could do that as well. Um, there we go. We're getting started. Cool. So yeah, I'm. We need to start thinking of names. So now that you guys know the concept, um, open to suggestions. Um, colors obviously would be helpful. Yeah. I mean, the first thing that came to mind was food baby, but I think it means like something food totally baby. different. <laughs> I like it. No, that's, that's usually cute. like what you describe when you've just eaten way too much. That's like the outcome of a buffet. Is a food baby. Food ba- oh I, right. I, I don't think there's anything healthy about this, um, so I don't think I don't, I'm not sure this is a, a good suggestion <laughs> to run on. There's, there's, um, that? Maybe our fans and followers have some suggestions for some. Yeah. Good names. Hector thought it was thought it was funny. <laughs> These are so food baby. Like food baby. <laughs> Probably not the best. So we're setting up um, the header and footer, which is yeah. exciting mm. because we just rolled out fixed elements in yeah. Adobe XD today. It's super exciting. We'll be able to put those suckers in place and keep them there. Can we go over? Oh, nourish, Tony. That's a good. That's a good one. Nourish. Just not like that one. Yeah, it's, it does. It's a very good one. And we're also so. Right now, you're jumping into the uh, iOS UI kit? Yeah. Nice. Um, Just going to go up quick elements. For those of you guys using XD, you can go and get a bunch of UI kits right within the app. Um, So you basically just hit the file button. You can get linked over to a bunch of UI kits. We also released another UI kit today as well. Um, It's called Vault. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a. It was developed by Kremsur in partnership with Simply Secure, 
Simply Secure oh. is a, a nonprofit uh, dedicated to privacy, transparency, and security in digital products. And uh, yeah, we partnered up with them and developed a UI kit based on best practices. Now that's pretty cool. And mm -hmm. then that got released today. So. Yeah, it did. Yeah. So lots of components. We've, re we've released a whole bunch of different UI kits. So of course we have like the super practical ones, like the iOS one you're leveraging. Then yeah. we have the ones that are a little bit more creative, a little bit more fun. Um, we've worked with a whole bunch of folks in the community to build those out and share them out for free. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, Norval, Fix Elements, so happy you could cry. I have a feeling <laughs> we've been really excited by the feedback we've gotten around that. We also, um, overlays was a big one. Oh, right, too. yeah. This can really show off some. Which got released today, too. Yeah, right? it did, it did. Those two, those are, those are two, like, very notable features from today. Dirk uh, suggested Baby's Best as uh, an option for the name. What's that? Uh, baby's best. Baby's best. I like that one. Best best food for the kiddo. Oh. Oops. Do we have any ladies on here who had any cravings for any particular food? Um, if they're mothers. Baby and me from Gregory. How about Mama, Mama eats? eats. <laughs> That's pretty good. That actually <laughs> sounds really like, like a southern barbecue joint or <laughs> something. Eats. Like I feel like we need to like show off cornbread or something in that. I really I'm really into the nourish one. That's really what is any preference so far? Any outliers? I actually like nor I wonder we is there a way that we could wordplay like using different spellings? Um, to kind of like communicate the same idea. I mean, it wouldn't be a real startup if we didn't drop at least one vowel. We need right? to, maybe it'd be like nourish, but with no I, so it'd be <laughs> nursh. Nursh. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a silent I, actually. <laughs> Sarah, we have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, when you sketch out ideas, do you look at other designs for inspiration at the early stage, or do you wait? Yes, so before I actually even start getting into wireframing, I do a ton of research of like inspiration, like what's out there, what's trending, um, what are the things in the, in the design community that's trending and then being popular, how we can use that. So I do a lot of um, visual research and I go through like, there, Behance is one great one, uh, there's Dribble, um, there's UI movement, Collect UI, there's just so many out there. So I'll, it, I would also like to know like what you guys or like, you know, yeah. what are the website that you guys go look into for the inspirations, um, which would be helpful as well. But yeah. Yeah, post some links in the comments. I wanna see where you guys are getting your inspiration from. Do you have a go-to inspiration thing? Uh, so I'm biased because uh -huh. we did recently launch a XD team account on Dribble, uh -huh. which we're quite proud of. And you can actually go find some sweet artwork done with some of those free UI kits I was talking about. And our design team actually contributes uh, different pieces to it as well. So, but I also like, I, I'm always amazed by what you can find on Pinterest. Oh, yeah. Um, both, so even just for for a wide variety of things, right? Right. Not just, not just my love of cooking and different things like that. Yeah. Um, but also, there's quite a bit of UI inspiration on there. Yeah. Yeah. Momble is another thing. Mom other suggestions? A momble. Mm hmm. Gregory plus one for the dribble and Behance. <laughs> Looks like uh, it's a popular. People are into that. Yeah, I think it's. A, I think it, you know, really, when we think about it, they're two of the largest like online creative mm -hmm. communities. Yeah, I mean, Behance is the largest online creative yeah. community, and and Dribble is definitely not small. I mean, the one. I think difference being is Behance covers all of the things, right? Including these sweet live streams that we do. Yeah. Um, but uh, Dribble is definitely very targeted on, they have graphic design on there too, but a oh, lot yeah. of it is, is more 
uh, screen, photography screen in there as well, right? Really? I think I so, yeah. I, I think okay, maybe there is. Maybe I'm like following the wrong people, <laughs> but most of what I see on Drupal is um, icons and sort of um, user interactions, things like that. Um, Carolus actually just meditates, clears your mind and starts to visualize things. It's like, you gotta find that inspiration from deep within. Mm -hmm. uh, Rodrigo is asking about a link for the new UI kit that we released today. Um, do we have the... <laughs> we do. I, uh, I think I have a short link, but saying it out loud is probably not gonna help. It's like Adobe. <laughs> Uh, adobe.ly forward slash um, XD Simply Secure UI Kit. I think that's the, wow, I think that's what it is. I know. <laughs> when you use a link enough, I think that might be it. Uh, Tony tweeted us if, if the short link isn't working. That's, uh, that's not cool. Yeah, I think that's the one. I'm like basically having a conversation, <laughs> a one-way conversation with Rodrigo. I think that's the the link. Oh no, somebody's link is broken. But yeah, Oops. send us a tweet. We'll make sure we follow up with the right link and get everything fixed if it is broken. You can also search on Behance for free Vault UI kit, and it'll show up. Yay! The link works. See, my memory didn't <laughs> fail me. There we go. All right, we have like a chat and win coming up real soon. Seven Ooh. minutes, seven minutes to get pumped. Look what we're giving away today. Dun, dun, oh, dun. those are cool. These are a fancy new design of the XD socks. They're pretty sweet, oh, right? Yeah. They're yeah. soft too. They're high quality. You heard it here first. Guys, need to get yeah. in on this. Yeah, get in on this. <laughs> so basically, stay tuned. Send us your questions comments, name suggestions. Um, so you're you're doubling up the screen here. Yeah, so kind of like going in and um, building out the things that I wanna see um, and then being able to go flush it out later. So being able to put all the information up from our sketch, sketches onto the wireframe and then moving on to then refining content, visuals. Um, so it's more like a framework quickest way to double up the yeah. screen how do you do that um so you you click on the screen and then i think you press alt yeah you press there you alt go. And then it's pretty easy pretty easy yeah. just multiplying screens for days i think you can copy paste as well yeah you can do control command c and then command v as hmm. well um, rodrigo would wear these socks on bike rides i think they are really good bike riding socks <laughs> I like the patterns that are going on. It's true, but you have to wear shorts with them and have them fully pulled up so you can show off that logo. So we've, we've kind of got the framework of that first screen and that's the, the basic information about the sort of stage the, mm -hmm. the user is in. Yeah. And then this next screen, we're starting to break down nutritional values. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I feel a repeat grid coming on. Like I feel like I feel like it's gonna happen, guys. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Nutrient. First one was protein. One. Look at this. This design looks. You're like speeding through this. I'm <laughs> impressed. You know, getting these layouts nailed. Got a wireframe whiz over here. Sarah, we have another question for you. Sure. From Nor Norval. How long does it normally take you to complete the app lifespan? Like the entire app? It I'm thinking that's what. Um, I think it depends. It depends on a lot of different factors. One is, you know, the involvement of the project, um, budget, <laughs> um, stakeholders. Um, also, research and talking to 
uh, research and then talking to a lot of uh, participants because you're also going to be uh, pulling in from, you know, talking to a lot of users and then being able to understand where the pain points are, what the pain points are. So it, it, it feels like a massive process. Um, so in all, like in total, it takes about I don't know, like three months um, if you were to involve a very full-fledged and like a really great uh, sort of experience. But it really depends, actually. Yeah, I mean, that's like so contextual. Uh, um, Yeah. But I guess, yeah, like you said, this app, like it's based off, it's this one piece of a very, very large app, right? Yeah. So, you know, if we're talking like six artboards versus... I don't know, 100? Right. Yeah. So like 100 d- would be really high, though. Yeah. That would be a mess. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, but yeah, like one section or like one module, like for instance, this module can take about three months versus if you're talking about the entire app and it has like, I don't know, like eight different modules, like we're talking about eight different modules have like, you know, 10 screens. So we're talking a very, very exhaustive app, which can take anywhere between like a year. It just really depends on... The mm-hmm. budget, the people, a lot of different factors yeah. come into it. Mm-hmm. Ten designers work faster than one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Gregory said three months. That's crazy, but real because of the project cycle. It's true. Yeah. You know, I think that's also when you think about players involved mm-hmm. and things like that. Yeah. Most people don't want dev time to run or design and dev time to run yeah. forever wild to think about but the good thing is tools like repeat grid which you just demoed here help that design process go even quicker so basically you set up that first line yep selected it hit the repeat grid function dragged and down so you you know you deleted it just to show me again because it's that easy (laughs) look at this that's awesome there you go it's super easy getting all these nutrients lined up Maybe healthy mama. Healthy the, mama. I really like the mama. <laughs> the mama, mama. Yeah. Healthy. There was one we could make it British. We could say healthy mum. <laughs> <laughs> I my mom's British, so I call her mum. Um, <laughs> it's like <laughs> so, healthy mum. <laughs> but I like healthy mama. Healthy mama is it's got mama. a bit of sass to it. Do we like? Yeah. Do we start voting? Like, how are we gonna? Yeah, I don't know. How are we gonna nail this down? We guys. still have time, though. <laughs> we still have time. We still need suggestions on names. Um, Mom knows best. That's true. With this app, she does. Um, happy tummy. That's a good one. That's actually pretty cute. Tummy. Tummy's just a tummy, mummy, mummy, tummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy tummy. <gasps> mummy tummy. That's good. Uh, socks, guys. One minute. Give us some names. Now is the time to weigh in. Tony's Tony's sticking to Nourish. What's that? Tony. He's really all about the Nourish <laughs> name. Did we get that one back again? Yeah. Well, he, Tony came up with it to be honest. Oh, right, so yeah. we need to, you know, credit where credit's <laughs> due. Happy tummy. Happy tummy is Saki mummy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, the oh, wow, yes. is tummy, tummy mama. Mommy. That's actually a good one. Nom plus oh, mama. Oh, I like that Ooh, one. Jeremy. Jeremy. That's a good, good one. one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Nama. 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 Do you um, name your artboard? Do you? Is yeah, that so that you do? naming artboards is a really good, uh, it's a best practice in XD and, and mostly because it'll only help you when you go into that prototyping mode. Yeah. Because you can right click on artboards and assign to other artboards and you don't have to like necessarily drag to specific mm-hmm. artboards, especially if you're working with a lot. It also just um, helps keep things like really clean and organized, which yeah. I'm also a big fan of. So, <laughs> oh, it's not July 4th, but it is <laughs> Chad and Wind time. Look at these fireworks. Woo woo. All right, everybody, get in the chat. This is your chance to win. Yeah. Great socks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at this enthusiasm. Come on. Yes, wow. Look, we got like. Baja's like gave us a whole thing. It's impossible to win the socks, but you gotta try. You gotta try. And I love that you love XD. We love people that love XD. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, sock time.
All right. You guys chat, now someone's gonna win. We have a name for you in just one minute. Our super fancy <laughs> background is it's pretty calculating <laughs> our winner, so wait for it. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. You guys can keep going. All right, oh. well, I think I all that hype for nothing, but no, <laughs> still coming, the winner is still coming. We have a very fancy system that's working in the background to identify a winner. And meanwhile, Sarah Thinking. is gonna keep pushing pixels. Mm -hmm. Not to slow down the hype. <laughs> so we, you've already nailed down basically the artboards for two. I was covering up her sketches with the socks, guys. <laughs> this is not helpful. Oh, 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 we have a winner. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. And drum roll. Okay, and the winner is? Rodrigo Fu Fuentes. I don't know. Rodrigo they, Fuentes? They, yeah. Oh, you are getting some socks. We will be in touch with you in the background. But socks for you. Um, I'm not sure if you committed to riding your bike with them on, but I think you should. And you should tweet us a picture of it happening as well, oh, just yeah. throwing that out there. Hopefully it's somewhere where you live and <laughs> shorts will be involved. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, welcome, Michael. Thanks for tuning in. We were getting really excited about socks. We are not looking for names for socks, but rather we are looking for a name for this wonderful app that Sarah's designing. Oh uh, this app helps uh, young pregnant ladies figure out the best things to be eating to nourish their baby to be. So we've got the first few art boards lined up. The first one is all about the stage of pregnancy. The next one is a nutritional breakdown. And the screen you're working on now is... Is, so when they click onto a nutrient, so mm -hmm. for example, it's, you know, protein. So breaking that information down into like, what is the importance of protein? Um, and kind of like giving you an overview of what are the other foods that are high in protein and then recipes catered um, based on that. So. Protein, yeah. the building mm -hmm. blocks of muscle. I basically could write this out for you. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite protein up in here? What are people into? I'm a big fan of chicken. Oh yeah. I like eggs too. It's a good one. They're kind of related. It's hard not to like chicken. <laughs> it's hard not. To. <laughs> it's true. Um, I'm a big fan of a lot of these different proteins. Tofu is good too. So when it comes to designing this app, do you have copy or content built out for it? Or what's the plan there? Are you just gonna wing it or? Oh, so in terms of uh, building it out, I do have um, uh, sort of like the high level information of what are the different buckets. And then I do have a uh, certain copy, which will come in tomorrow. But cool. today we're lorem ipsuming it a little bit to get all our stuff in. Nice. Um, and then being able to easily go switch out content because I think that's a way easier way to work because a lot of times you're going to go put in the content and then there's going to be a different process and then you want to be able to flush out your UX and being able to flush out the thinking and then start like generating content after it's been flushed out. <laughs> this is why she's the pro. <laughs> We got, we got fans of almonds, baked tofu, Ooh. eggs on here. Hemp protein from Chris. Those are good. Hemp protein, you can like sprinkle that on salads, right? Oh, I think so. I don't know. I might be thinking of hemp parts. Um, <laughs> peanut butter. Oh, that, oh. Is, that, is, that is an epic protein for sure. Cute. You got to get the natural stuff. That's the healthy kind. Do you use lorem ipsum in your process of design? Yeah, but you gotta use a, a funny one. Actually, so gen like since copywriting is what I do, it's actually like when I do mess around in XD, the hardest part is not trying to flush out all of the copy as you're going along, just because that's a natural thing mm -hmm. for me. Um, what I've been doing to start to understand and learn XD is actually doing bringing one of my other interests in and that is uh, 
do it making mackerel. So yeah. the latest prototype I've been playing with is like instructions on how to like make mackerel, which is oh, a really yes. tricky French cookie to make. Yeah. Um, but it was it was something I know and I had the coffee sort of figured out and um, and so like playful in terms of what you can do with color palettes and stuff because it's pastels and it's like ultra feminine and I don't know I liked it it's fun fun to do oh I think I see my friend there Walter it is the first a oh, third segment of the day yes there is one more but it's day one so lots to come still is there any other cool grid system that differentiates from other design tools can you set guides like how we have an illustrator uh, oh. So there actually are layout grids in XD. Um, there aren't like smart guides like what you would expect in Illustrator, um, but there we go. Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty great. So layout grids, so you can, and you can customize those as well. Yeah, and then you can make them square mm -hmm. as well. Ah, Rodrigo, yay. You're getting socks. <laughs> Patrick just copies and pastes obscure news articles from the 1980s for Lauren Ipsum. That's great, that's great. I wonder what some of those headlines look like. So good. And you can see there's a lot of uh, guidelines that appear like as you're working to give you a sense of spacing and and, and relation to other objects. Um, so those are also very helpful despite not having the same guides. So this is interesting what you're doing here. You're mm -hmm. creating a scrollable artboard mm -hmm. and that line that is appearing shows kind of where the screen would cut off normally so you have a clear indicator. Which is cool. Mm -hmm. And then you can drag can you drag the little line right? Yeah. Yeah, you can adjust it accordingly. Uh, don't forget, we do have our challenge going on. You have 50 minutes, so if you haven't gotten started, now is a good time. You can check out full details on the challenge tab, but basically we're looking for you to design an app or a website that's themed around the World Cup. Um, we were picking Sarah's brain earlier around what would you like to see in a World Cup app or website design? And things that came up were scores. Oh yeah, scores. Color, like team colors. Visuals, team colors. Yeah. Soccer things. So <laughs> soccer things, yeah. Soccer things. Team names. Hello, Ronald. Thank you for tuning in. We are chugging along here. So you're pulling from the Wires UI kit. Mm -hmm. So the, wire, yeah, the, yeah, the Wires really UI great. kit is really robust. And the beautiful thing about the Wires UI kit is it's all, well, first of all, it's free. You can go and get it now um, through the app. But it's also really simple in color. So it's just a lot of practical elements that you can go and, and make your own by changing up the color and things like that. So. And at this stage of your design, it's it's perfect, right? Yeah. And just have all these components built out. Yeah. And it's like easier and it's faster and I can just go adjust it accordingly, which mm -hmm. is amazing. You save a lot of time. A lot of time. Time savings is where it's at. Jeremy asking about horizontal scrolling. So it is something the team um, has on their radar. Uh, if you, if there's any feature requests that you have for Adobe XD, you should go check out our user voice account. So it's adobexd.uservoice.com. You can go there and submit features or upvote existing feature requests. You can log bugs that you encounter. Um, and you also can get a sense of where things are at. So if there's a feature you're dying to see, you can go on there and upvote it or add extra context to it. And once you've done that, you'll be notified um, of updates regarding that feature. So XU is very much built with the community. So any feedback you have would be great.
Melvin, can we put an action button to the bottom and make it static and scroll vertically? So I think, so we can do fixed elements now. So theoretically, yes, you could do a fixed element and you could do that on a scrolling artboard. Um, I'm not sure if I understand that question what correctly. What was the question? Can you, can you put an action button to the bottom and make it static and scroll vertically? Oh, like there, I think what, from a, what I understand, like can you make that fixed element um, as like in the bottom? I, I think you can. You can fix an element, yeah. but you can't fix an element to a scroll. No. Yeah, that's probably, mm -mm. hopefully that clarifies. Happy, and if that's a feature again you'd like to see, jump on over to user voice and input that if you were looking for a fixed element on the scroll. Um, you can design artboard so in prototype mode, you can fix position uh, for certain actions. So if you are if you want to say you, you're anchor linking something or like linking something from a top of a page and you want to put the user to a bottom of the page when they click on that action, you can, you can do that through prototyping features in XD. So are these going to hold uh, photos of different proteins? Yeah. Got it's it. going to be okay. super visual. So I know it looks going to be like Insta protein because mm -hmm. it kind of looks like Instagram a little bit. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. <laughs> you got to um, give a little heart button. Double tap on the, <laughs> on the chicken for some love. Um, but yeah, it's going to be super visual. Um, because you always want to, like most oh, of Oh no, the, those are recipes. Yeah. That's going to be recipes. That makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. It's not just going to be a big old piece of chicken no, like no, in that no. big image box, but maybe a nice delightful roasted chicken oh, yeah. or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I feel like we need to also come up with recipe names, too. Mm -hmm. We've got, we need to come up with an app name, a recipe. A res recipe names. We need some recipe suggestions from your favorite proteins. I've put roasted chicken out there. Yeah. Maybe sc one. scrambled eggs. <laughs> In case you need a recipe on how to create those. Um, that is, it, you know, to do them right can be complicated. What's that? <laughs> to do scrambled eggs right can be complicated. complicated. Yeah, there's so many ways that you could do scrambled eggs too, That's right? true. Gordon Ramsay would have something to say about that too, I'm sure. I'm sure he'd be like, Hi, Ronald. Thank you for joining us. Ooh, Rodrigo, French style scrambled eggs. Can you describe what that is? I'm not sure. I don't know, too. I mean, French food is just good, so I'm, I'm sure that's implying delicious scrambled eggs, but. Buttery. Extra butter. Yeah. Um, another fun question for you. This one comes from Raphael. When trying to get insights through user interviews, do you only focus on the patterns? Mm, what does that mean? When trying to get insights through user interviews, do you only focus on the patterns? Patterns of the UI? Like, he probably means like patterns that, uh, of the outcome. Like so when you're doing tests, are you seeing like patterns? Like, oh. Re re repeated behaviors, I imagine? Yeah, so when you when we do a lot of like interviews and then we go through and collect a lot of brainstorm, we do like mind mapping and figuring out like what are the different buckets um, that certain users are, you know, having trouble with and then trying to create like personas for them as well. So we do see a lot of patterns are trending towards like one specific sort of like problem. And then you kind of like bucket them all together and then see what, like what's the overarching sort of, what is it that sort of um, is much more higher in pain point than like versus another one. And then would solve for um, both of it. So, mm -hmm. great. Hey Leslie, thank you for tuning in. Hello, Cross Design. It's Steven from Maryland. Got Matthias from Brazil. Brazil. 
hi, I see you, I see you. <laughs> I see you, so. So meta. Uh, <laughs> so good. Um, we've also determined that French style scrambled eggs are really creamy and delicious, as we suspected. Yeah. I'm sure they have like creme fraiche in them. Ooh, Nutri-Moms. Ooh. Oh. I feel like we should start like writing these down. And, like, I know. <laughs> I need to start like keeping track here. I'm gonna start to make a document of running names. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna need some reminders though, friends. Um, so again, we are with Sarah right now, and she is designing an app for young moms who will get some nutritional guidance while they're expecting. So mm -hmm. it not only, you know, the first screen we walk through, it has the sort of stage of pregnancy that the mother's in. The yeah. next stage is a nutrient breakdown. And um, mm -hmm. I imagine what's required every day from a nutritional perspective. Yes. And then right now, the screen you're working on is a breakdown. If you were to click on one of the nutrients, it would explain sort of the importance of it. So the example you're, we're using is protein. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show off some examples of what protein is and then some recipes. So thank you for some of the suggestions for recipes, but one thing we really need for this app is a name. So we had Yummy Mummy. <laughs> no, no, it was Mummy Dummy. Mummy Tummy. <laughs> Uh, I think I nominated Food Baby. There was Nama, right? No, Nama. Nama, yeah, yeah, that was a good one. And was then Mama Bull was there? Uh, Mama Bull, I think, was one. Um, Nutramoms, got a. That's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. Carrot porridge. Um, oh, that, like as a. D Derek really likes his carrots. He's, <laughs> he's brought this up a couple of times now. It's motherboard? Motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Ooh, mommy boo move is also interesting. Mommy move, okay. Only one M though, just yeah. so it's like a startup. <laughs> so many, so many suggestions. I'm trying to think if there was any that we missed. We probably did, but um, keep throwing your happy mommy. Keep, keep throwing your suggestions out there, folks. We're, we're keeping Happy track. Mommy. Happy Mommy, that's a good one. Nourish, Nourish, of course. How did we forget Tony's Nourish? <laughs> mommy Fit. Mommy Fit. I love, again, with the single M. Yeah, it seems to be like a trend Trend, now. yeah. It is, Word it play. is a trend. So good. Got all of the app suggestions. It's building out these recipe cards. So what do you envision the two little dots being on each oh, of the recipe cards? So it would just tell you sort of um, the, so if it's like protein, what other pro, um, what other nu nutrients um, are also there part of the recipe. Oh, great. So not just only uh, a certain protein, but like if it ha it's more like calcium or magnesium, and if it's higher, then we would just have them it visually um, in an easier way to sort of understand for the mothers to know what other proteins are, I mean, what other nutri nutritions are there. So they're checking off a few boxes. Yeah. So. And like, Eat this protein, also get that magnesium. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that fiber. I, I'm not sure. Mommy mint. Mommy mint. It sounds like a building for moms. Mommy mint. Like a monument, monument. but mommy mint. Momiel. Momiel. Momiel's for you. <laughs> Momiel. I like that one. I do like that. Good. Okay. Are we gonna put a footer on this one? Um, probably not just yet, no. but we have to. Getting ahead of myself, you see. <laughs> it's, it's happening. Okay, and then. 39 minutes to submit to the design challenge. I'm seeing some entries come through. 
definitely could use a few more. Healthy mama for the, as a next one. I think, to, oh no, we only have happy mama, not healthy mama. I love there's there's two different spellings of mama. There's like the M A M A classic. Yeah, and then and there's M O M M A. Or like there isn't there like M U M M A too? Yeah, that'd be like mama. 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 There's so Master Ma. That's a good one. Cross designs on a roll. Yeah, seriously. I think I think cross design might come up with brands. Brand ideas for a living, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Although by his name or her name, it probably designer. <laughs> I can't tell by the profile picture. I know. I think it's a bird. Is that a minion? Or what is that? I don't know. Cross design. What is your profile <laughs> photo of? Is that a woodpecker? Looks like a bird. It is. Yeah. Cool. It's a bird. M money meat. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna money write that one down. <laughs> yeah, money meat. Not sure. It's not sure that fits quite with this app. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Question: Is the MVP of your design process the most important thing? <laughs> I'm not sure the rest of that question, but I have a question would you say that like designing the MB MVP, like the process around that is the most important piece of the entire design process for you? Right. So I think it's, it's all of them, like it encompasses all, but I think MVP is the one that's, you know, that's going to be the selling point of the product, right? Like without that, you're probably not going to have sort of a fully, like what, what makes your product special is your MVP. And you should be always be thinking about that. And yes, that it is a priority, but not to say that the other parts of the experience is less prioritized as well. We have, we are building sort of like the entire experience a bit. So we have to consider every part of it. Um, in total, huh. so. Makes sense. Um, Mammy Meal? Mammy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> the names keep coming through. I love that we have, like, you answering these serious questions, but we interject with <laughs> these ridiculous app names. It's great. Uh, can we get these wireframes in the XD file? Um, perhaps. Stay tuned on that one. If you want to go and get your hands on a whole bunch of like really cool wireframes, we do have the Wires UI kit and it's a great way to get started. Especially if you guys are participating in today's challenge, 35 mm -hmm. minutes left. Um, it's, you should go and, and check out some of the UI kits. They'll help you get started to design something. You can switch out a bunch of different colors and images and some of the text and next thing you know, you'll have an entry for a chance to win. Uh, Neo Nutrition, that's interesting. Neutro Bud, that's a good one. Yeah. We have so many names now to choose I know. from. They're going wild. I think we have like a whole other voting thing to do now. What's that? We have like oh, a whole yeah. other voting thing we need to do now. How are we gonna vote for this, guys? Like, how are we gonna do this? Um, I think me and you need to pick our top three and then have them vote in chat. I think that would be like vote by name if you're up for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something we can do on tomorrow's segment. Yeah. So get your name suggestions in today and we will narrow it down to the top three and vote in tomorrow's segment. So you guys have to come back to check it out. Hello, Rick. Welcome. Welcome. Were these wireframes based on sketches she made? Yes, Raphael. Um, yeah, so. can you, why don't we go back and show off some sketches? Sure. We've got, do you want to start on this page? Yeah. So this, um, 
this is where when we click on to one recipe um, it will sort of like give you an image and then tell you the name of the recipe and then you can add it to your favorites bucket and then view it later if you like that recipe Ooh, okay yeah and then um, being able to also break it down into different information where how many um, you know, people it can serve, it, whether it's like a two versus four and how many. Um, and then cooking time, how long does it take to cook? A lot of it is that um, for me is too, like cooking time is really important. Yes, like, yeah. If something's like an hour, I'm just like, oh, probably not. Versus Sleep like, that for a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's very essential. And I think like for pregnant mothers um, as well, uh, I think they're looking for something that is much more, you know, easier, faster as well. So cooking time um, and then being able to prep time as well. So cooking time um, versus prep time is like how long does it take to actually prep uh, your entire so all of that together also helps in deciding whether you want to cook uh, a certain recipe or not and then breaking down into like what are the list of ingredients mm -hmm. and then going over and like how to cook um, the recipe as well but I'm open to so sort is, of this is what we're working on right now yeah the screen just, like, trying to be, get things in over so you've already powered through these screens yeah like, the state of pregnancy the various nutrients you click on a nutrient, you get to a breakdown of mm -hmm. it, including the start of the recipes. Yeah. And then what we showed here, now we're on the what the actual recipe, recipe looks is. like. Yeah. So there you go. But then um, I'm also, you know, if you guys have any other ideas, what like things that I could probably add, um, I'm open for suggestions. So we could like tackle that tomorrow um, if we want to see any other information, a part of, uh, you know, recipes. So that's mm -hmm. there. And then this is more about like, can I eat a certain type of food? Uh, and kind of like understanding like, is seafood good during, you know, if you're 12 weeks or 14 weeks or 15 weeks, whatever week number you are on, um, is seafood good? And what are the benefits? What are the, you know, pros and cons of it? So more about informational uh, sort of like breakdown. Um, but yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very cool. All right. We are moving along here on these wireframes. <laughs> getting this recipe sort of, I guess, card built out, mm -hmm. Did a digital recipe card. Um, oh, we got Baby Bites, that's a good one. I'm a big fan baby of alliteration, <laughs> I do like that. Um, yeah, you guys have just over 30 minutes left to participate in our design challenge today, so be sure to do that. I'm seeing some entries come through, but there's, there's still room for more. <laughs> My baby cook. If only the baby would cook. Right? <laughs> Oops. I know, we shouldn't just say that this app is for expect expecting mothers. It's it's for expectant, expectant mothers um, in terms of the output, but mm -hmm. really like, you know, the father, oh, yeah. the like caretaker, whoever is involved can definitely leverage this app. And you know, if they're oh, really yeah. lucky, maybe their personal chef, you know? <laughs> the maybe. husband's cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the husband. <laughs> or partner, you know, I think like whatever it is. This is like I think the output is all about creating that nutritious food. I think we all could really benefit from this, you know. Something tells me I'm lacking in magnesium. I I'm just <laughs> Just, just throwing that out there, I don't know. So good. So, recommendations to someone who has a graphic design background and wants to get into UX, UI. Well, my advice would be go over and mess around in Adobe XD. Um, chances are a lot of the tools that will be familiar to you, but I'm sure you have a, a, a more robust answer to something like that. Yeah. Um, so did you, did you always do UX UI design, or did you no, do graphic so first? No. So I did. Um, I did graphic a little bit, and then I did actually textile design. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, and then I did a little more of interaction design, and then I became like an experience designer. So I've been like in the design sort of realm. Um, for a while, but 
textile design was definitely a different sort of approach to design, but it has the same sort of fun, fun, fundamental and foundation, sort of like how do you think about a product and how do you build a product? But in that case, it's like more a physical product. So um, the fundamentals are the same, but the outputs are different. So like in terms of a graphic designer yeah. looking to move into UX, yeah. what would your advice be? I think one of the great ways to start is that if they were to see, they could take any app that they love or they don't like and then kind of like um, being able to understand the experience of it. You can also take like certain, maybe just like two or three sort of interaction points uh, in a, you know, a product and then being able to wireframe that out and just like getting the hang of like new tools that are out there as well and familiarizing um, tons of reading and research and also just like talking to other people in the community like UX and UI design going to a lot of talks um, I think that's one way of being able to also understand what's trending in the industry and then you're also on par of like uh, what are the trends and you're able to understand that and you're knowledgeable about that um, as well so that's one mm -hmm. way of looking at it. Just like, and the best way is probably like to learn, you know, by you trying to figure it out as opposed to like doing other tutorials or, um, but yeah, the best way to learn is to figure it out yourself. Um, yeah, because you probably already have the taste down. Like you mm -hmm. probably have a, an eye for visual design, which is, that's, I don't want to say that's the easy part, but at least you have that covered, you know? And then yeah. other than that, it's the tools, and then it's all the theory. Like, UX design is so much more than yeah. making things pretty. So, yeah. and, and like you said, talks, books, just so much content out there online yeah. that you can read about. Um, and half of it, it's like anything. You just got to try and try again and yeah. try again. And yeah. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep doing stuff. Participate in our challenge. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Download XD for free. Create a World Cup app. Um, so great. Okay, so we have some more names. Uh, I think I got Baby Bites. I got that covered. The Expecting Cook. I like that. That sounds like it's like it should be a show or something. The Expecting the Cooks. Expecting Cook. Although, like, that sounds like it should be paired with a glass of wine. Although, <laughs> not in this scenario. Uh, Nurse Natal. I like that. Fit I think fresh. people heard that. I really liked alliteration, and now they're running with it. Because... Good. Fit and fresh. Oops. We will not be serving up old food in these recipe suggestions. Healthy belly. Healthy belly. So good. Like this little favorite flag. Yeah. It's very good. It's a nice little use of iconography there. When you're designing, do you build your own little assets or do you look for other sort I'm of like... I'm by no means an experienced designer. <laughs> um, I'm a communications professional okay. first. However, I do, I'm very familiar with a lot of Adobe tools. I just work with some incredible talent, so I would never be so bold to call myself a designer. Um, but, uh, so yeah, generally what I would do is like one of two things. Um, my sketching skills aren't great. Yeah. So uh, while you can use like Adobe uh, Capture to grab um, and vectorize any sketches you do and bring them into an app, uh, I would more often leverage stock icons. Like mm -hmm. Adobe Stock has like a great collection of icons, or I would leverage many of the free icons that we've oh, released. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. Preg Nutrition. I think that gets to the point. <laughs> Eggers for Preggers. Eggers for Preggers. <laughs> First meal. Oh, that is really cute. I feel like that has like a lot of like emotional sort of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like first bite. <laughs> first meal. That's okay. so good. So we're kind of slow today, but it's but that's fun. you know it's it's because we've been interrupting you <laughs> every two minutes to ask you some new question. Uh, people are into the first meal. Yeah? Yeah, first meal. 
Double first meal. Double first <laughs> meal. <laughs> technically, it is a double first meal. It's true. Technically, technically, in this scenario, anyway. I feel like the colors need to be really fresh. Maybe we like lean on the love of carrots and we bring in some greens and like mm -hmm. orange coral sort of. Oh yeah. Sort of colors. What do you guys think about that? Moving through. So have you selected images for your? Uh, I oh, do okay. have certain images in mind. Got it. Um, yeah. We're going to find some of those on Adobe Stock uh -huh. in the coming days. So good. So uh, have, have you worked with XD a lot, or is this pretty new to you? Um, I've worked uh, with XD before, um, it was just, it, I'm still learning a lot of different things, but it's very easy in the sense that, you know, it, I feel illustrated in Photoshop is almost the same sort of short, shortcuts in a way, and it's understanding, like, once you know one of the softwares, it's pretty easy. The familiarity is there, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's um, it's really helpful. Yeah, and then XD does, like, a really amazing job of, like, having prototypes and then being able to, I mean, with now, like, the fixed elements, mm -hmm. so great um, for quick sort of prototyping versus, like, it used to be a lot more exhausted before. And right, because you'd have to create multiple screens to yeah, show different behaviors. Exactly. But yeah, a lot of these uh, things have been efficient. All right. Building out the recipe things. We're, we're actually like, you've got, you got two more things to go. You folks have 22 minutes to submit to the design challenge. Again, we're looking for World Cup apps and websites. You can check out full details on the challenge tab. Hi, Paul. We've got some friends in the studio <laughs> right now. <laughs> in case you heard that big bang. Paul's just trying. Uh, Ritesh, you were having some issue with a, a prototype link. Let's make sure you've got the latest and greatest version of Adobe XD. Let's see what's going on there. So have you been leveraging the symbols at all in XD? Do you find that helpful, symbols um, functionality? Some of them, yeah. It's like super helpful that it's already there, part of there. All you have to do is just like go get it. Um, mm. so. No, I mean like for like creating, like taking your assets and turning them into symbols. Oh, so yeah. you can and access them and edit them across all your artboards. Uh -huh. No, I haven't actually you haven't like, done that. No. Okay, well that's like a whole new world. <laughs> um, so I'd like for to. some of the elements that you're repeating throughout, like yeah. a great example would be um, in your recipe board, you have these mm -hmm. cards, right? Yeah. You can turn that into a symbol. symbol. And then that way, if you change like an element of that symbol, it will oh, apply across, across all of your symbols. All right, how do we um, do it? So if you select the whole thing, uh -huh. um, and you actually can right click. Oh, oh you don't have the whole thing. Oh, make symbol. Make symbol. But yeah, you'd want to capture all the all the bits there. Bit. It's kind of in an awkward spot because of where it is. So you make symbol. And then if you go to your assets panel, which is just over, just went up, those are your layers. Um, you can actually see some symbols are already oh, there. Yeah. It's like some icons and stuff you've created. Yeah. So, oh. so it gets added then, onto the library. Yeah. So then that, that's the beautiful thing. So the, there you go. Oh, I see. Um, I think you have the other thing selected when you pasted that symbol, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> and anyway, the, the symbols are really paste. Great. No, I can't do that. Right, so uh, you can you can drag a symbol into the symbols panel, or if you select something, you can hit the plus button. I see. So that's another thing you can do. Okay. So if you and have then to an, create an, a new symbol. to create a new symbol, you could select Got something, it. hit the plus button. There's a few like tricks there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, when you're looking at the assets panel, you can see there's uh, the character styles are listed in there, your colors that are within the document. 
if you select all of your artboards and click the plus sign, yeah. it will pull all of those elements in automatically. So it's a really good way to identify like, oh, I see. Um, how many, say you have some rogue colors in there or character right. styles that are like, say you're, well, you're testing fonts as you're designing and then yeah. you realize that, oh, you decide on your final font, but you have some like old fonts lingering. Yeah. You can find those fonts really easy, easily oh, throughout the document. Um, so great. The character, character styles will highlight for you. Uh, Phil, there's no way to hyperlink with NXD right now, but if you want to jump on over to User Voice, so it's adobexd.uservoice.com, you can go ahead and put in a request. I think there's a request already there, actually. If you go ahead and upload that, you'll be updated on feature progress. Uh, there's definitely going to be some typos throughout this thing. Don't worry about it. It's still early days. <laughs> These are just wireframes. That's the best part of like creating these wireframes is like to go and hash all of it out and then we're kind of like yeah. I mean, these are it's like a process. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't even have final copy in here, no. so we won't stress about that. Early days. All right, we are moving along. This app is really starting to come together. Yeah. Getting all the you can see where it's in. useful. Was there any particular app that inspired you to, to like design anything that you've done in your work or in your portfolio? Um, there are like a lot of great sort of like food delivery apps and you can definitely like get inspiration from like how they sort of like bucket content. Mm -hmm. um, but like just like going through a lot of apps and being able to assess like how they're, I guess like prioritizing certain content versus like imagery and how imagery plays such an important role as well. Um, but this was trying to find a balance between like information versus like being able to um, have uh, recipes as well and not only make it a recipe app and like it's the sort of like the fine line between like trying to find a balance between both. So I don't know if I answer your question. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd say so. I think like, well, no, it's just you, you spoke to before, like getting inspiration from the apps you love and then recreating them as a way to like practice your design skills and, and hone them. Yeah. Um, so. Hey guys, we know ingredients is spelled wrong. We got All you. Right, we Don't got, worry we about it. it. Don't yeah. worry about it. Let's do this in real time. <laughs> what is ingredients? We need to like, uh, R-E-D. Oh. There we go. There we go. Is everybody happy? Everybody <laughs> happy? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We appreciate that you're paying such close Thanks. attention to us. We appreciate it. Um, so, what are your thoughts about material design and that philosophy? Of like flat design and being able to... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the, the context of this question is, is Google has the keys to SEO, so how much should we pay attention to it? I think like it would be, so, I mean like there are also like a trend setting and like being able to have a different sort of like design system and aesthetics and being able to implement that. Mm -hmm. But um, in terms of being able to, I think it def depends like what the problem is or like what you're trying to build and being able right. to borrow for that. Um, but yeah, so it's just like it depends I think on a lot of different factors. but. Yeah, I mean, it's an open source design system, yeah. right? Which is, I think, has its value. Yeah. But, you know, like you said, it, it depends on what you're building. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like very de dependent on a lot of different sort of like factors that go into it, but. Mm -hmm. uh, do you use the iOS or Android guidelines for wireframes or do you worry about that for UI only? 
Uh, that's more when I get into like UI. Um, that's like a more in the final like or the later stages of it. Um, that's when I sort of like getting into like the nitty gritty part of it. But like when I'm trying to like do the the initial wireframes and like the mocks, it's more about like trying to get UX right, being able to test out those like um, interactions and being able to validate those uh, sort of like ideas and then being able to then move into sort of like pixel perfect and grids and being able to get all of that um, together. Good. Well, Merrick, you can safely get on your bus now. Ingredients is felt right, so we're all set. <laughs> <laughs> it was Merrick the he one was, was He like... was really worried. He was worried for us. I appreciate it. It's good. Um, I'm worried for you guys. You have 14 minutes left to get into this design challenge, so be sure to check out the details on the design challenge tab and get your entries in. I'm excited to go through these with you. Also, we're still collecting names for this app and we're gonna go through them. And tomorrow we're going to announce the one we're gonna move forward with. Actually, tomorrow we're gonna mm -hmm. announce three potentials and we'll have you guys weigh in on what we're gonna do. So we're just, we're throwing a challenge within a challenge within <laughs> a challenge. <laughs> You're back to the wires UI kit, yeah, pulling so. out those useful components. You can see how they're like really uh, well categorized. You know, head on over and like grab what you need. Post, yeah, and it's like yeah. definitely easier when you're like mm -hmm. running out of time or just like want a sort of like a framework that you want to go off of, and it's really great. Yeah, and I mean you can still edit it. Mm -hmm. And the wires UI kit, this is the mobile one, but there's also one for desktop design, so you can get a lot of these components for more of a web design. Mommy Tummy is pretty good. We are looking at our board five of six. I think we might actually meet our deadline today. <laughs> I think it might actually happen. Oops. Got that repeat grid in action again. Yeah. So great, it makes it so easy. I think you, I, oh no, that's from the wires. Although I imagine the wires uh, UI kit also leveraged it. Yes. What do I have? <coughs> we got fruits and veggies. You got seafood already. I wonder, does that say, not sure. Drinks, so it's like. Oh, um, drinks. Yeah. I don't think Diet Coke made the list. <laughs> this is, it's so tasty and full of caffeine, but I don't think it's healthy. Melvin, that is a challenge worth fighting for watching this video and also trying to work at the same time. Oh, it's I'm glad. so hard. We're happy to be your distraction. In fact, it's Sarah's like, I know this is hard because I'm trying to do this video while working at the same time. <laughs> it's true, Nicholas, so that's a great tip. You can take uh, text files, particularly mm -hmm. like any really data files, and you can drag and drop text um, into different spots. So theoretically, uh, you could take text and, and drop it in across each of the, the components. Oh, so you just like copy from, it would be from like a text document, but. Oh, I see, um, okay. Yeah, but I don't think these are linked up like repeat grid style to mm -hmm. allow you to do that, so. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you could theoretically, if it, was, if it was a repeat grid, you could edit the text. You could like take text and drag it over top of right. the text instance. And if it's like lined out, right. it would fill in oh, all the things. So it is a nice quick little oh. feature, but. Um, the other thing is like, you can also like drag and drop photos and it gets like mm -hmm. populated. Straight from the web too. That's like so you don't great. even have to save them. It's pretty great.
less than 10 minutes until the challenge mm -hmm. ends and we get to look at all sorts of cool stuff. I think we've exhausted this audience for all of the good <laughs> out names though. We've got oh, yeah, quite they're a being few. really silent. Yeah, we've been just being quiet on the, <laughs> the name front, but it's like healthy bump. Nummy oh, mummy. Nummy, mummy. I feel like that's actually a thing though. Aren't those cookies? Like aren't those kid cookies? Nummy mummy. Yeah, I feel like that's a thing. Like a real product. Guys, we are on the wireframing of our last artboard. You have absolutely <laughs> powered through this. So this is a full detail page on the nutrition of a specific ingredient, yes? Mm -hmm. So, or no, category. Category, nutrition yeah. Linking to a full category. So this would be like, if you're in the protein section, this is a breakdown of the seafood proteins or uh, just a grocery store breakdown. For this part of it? Yeah. Um, that's more about, so I haven't um, sort of like made updates, but this is the part where it's like, can I can I eat? So it's more like, uh, what are the oh, food that they can eat? The no-go's. Yeah, um, because in, so there are certain foods during pregnancy that you are tend to um, supposed to stay away from. So this is more information. It's like, oh, like, is it good? Is it not at this time? Right. Um, so yeah. I've heard about this. Like, I don't know. I think <laughs> pregnancy would be hard because I'm, I literally had sushi for lunch. So, <laughs> and, um, yeah, like raw meat, like raw meat, um, raw fish is something that you'd soft stay away from. Yeah, stay away I, from. I think I could avoid hot dogs pretty easily. <laughs> I heard that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I made that up, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I need this app, obviously. Well, actually, I don't need this app, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna stop. Okay, um, whatever the shape is repeating the repeat grid, we'll crop the image to fill. Yeah, if the repeat grid is in place, you can do the text fill, but mm -hmm. this was a uh, copy and paste from the Wires UI kit, and I don't think repeat grid is on there. And the reason you know is because it doesn't have that lovely lime green sort of wire around it. On the UI, oh yeah. Yeah, so right. in the elements that you brought in. Yeah. So, while it is the repeat grid in there, I think when you copied and pasted it over, uh -huh. is it still retaining the re repeat grid? It does. So okay, so we could have technically dragged and dropped that sure. copy in there. We totally could have. Yeah. Nicholas, I stand corrected. And then yeah. it still works. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Nicholas knows what's up. <laughs> she had asked for repeat grid before. Yeah, she did. That's what happened. Okay, it all makes sense now. So I'm, gl I'm, gl I'm glad he's following along well. Um, but thanks, Nicholas. All right, Raphael, when sketching multiple ideas, what is the best way to decide what direction to go? Who was that, sorry. So when sketching out ideas, yeah. how do you decide the best direction to go? Um, I think it's a, uh, it's a very collaborative process as well. So um, I think be, when you're also flushing out ideas, being able to get them on sketch, um, rough sketches, and then being able to talk to somebody else, uh, it's not necessarily they have to be in the same, like it's it's not necessarily it has to be a designer, it can be you know somebody else in a different industry as well and see how they are reacting to it as well. Um, but also being able to like be cognizant about if you're building an app for say pregnant, women then being able to talk to them understand and then see if they're liking it they don't like it what are their thoughts on it a lot of um, your sketches would change as you have a lot of conversation and like collaborate with a lot of people and like before you even get to the sketches you already you already have a bunch of research so you're yeah. armed with a bunch of research and understanding yeah and then that's where the sort of like your sketching you get a sense of that yeah your basic prototype Iterate, iterate. Iterate, iterate, refine and iterate. There we yeah. go. Um, that's why like it's very important to do a lot of research before we sort of like go in and build a feature or a certain screen. Being able to see other exemplars uh, and then be able to understand what is it, you know, how other people are doing it and then how we could do it differently. Or how do we sort problem solve for that problem in a different uh, way. 
Um, so research is good. Research is essential. Um, so yeah. Plus one for research. Four minutes and 43 seconds left until the challenge deadline. Get your entries in. I'm getting excited. Um, so not to distract you further, but I feel like you need this shout out from Melvin, who uh, is giving you kudos for oh, you. sharing your yeah. thoughts, <laughs> answering all your questions while still working at the same time. And I couldn't agree more. Yes. It's, uh, it's, it's a challenge. It's really a challenge. We're all, we're all facing challenges today. <laughs> Design challenges for everyone, except for me. I just get, I just get to make the bad jokes and, and, uh, and ask you all the questions. <laughs> so this is the no-go slide that explains why you can't have something. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that lists other, other things. Wow, it's a shark on here? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sashimi and sushi, mm -hmm. marlin. A lot of like these fishes are like, they don't have, uh, I mean, you're not supposed to eat during pregnancy, so you'd stay clear from like sword, swordfish and um, mackerel and tuna and different And kinds. shark. And shark, yeah, and shark. Yeah, stay away from the wall. <laughs> I think I generally would anyway, but, well, not so much. I would, I, like I said, I, 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 I'd salmon today, not tuna, but it's, it's a good fish. Oh, I could do repeat crit for this. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, look at that. I like seeing it. Yeah, it's very satisfying. <laughs> it's very good. Ah, uh, the fear of mercury from all the fish consumption is the concern. Mm-hmm. Jeremy, did you design a logo option for us? That's very kind of him. What? Did he? Yeah. Oh, love Let's to take a look at it. Hold that up. Aw. It's really cute. Oh, that's cute. Do you want to show my screen quick? Yeah. Look at that. That's really cute. The mom and oh, that is really cute. It's very cute. I think is Jeremy. It looks kind of like a nesting doll sort of right? style yeah. thing. Yeah, Jeremy, well done. Thanks for sharing with us. I like how the mom's uh, hair wraps the little yeah. kid. It's like it's like a little nurture cool. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job, Jeremy. Bravo, bravo, my friend. It's great. We might just use it tomorrow. Oh. One minute to get those challenge entries in. Go for it, folks. Oh, did Cross Designs in a logo too? I don't know if I saw that come through in the, the link in the chat. Wow, getting logo options. I know, options. people are all you about guys. this. You guys, this is so such an engaged group. I it's great. know. I love it. Cross design. I don't think I've seen your link come through. Uh. All right. Um, we have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Get those entries in. Design challenge hype. Almost done. I know. And you're almost done. <laughs> That's okay. You, you can, you can definitely uh, have, have a few visuals, more minutes. Yeah. I'm going to, I'll get all our entries set up for review. So. got a few to get through, which is great. I'm 
excited to go through these with you folks. All right, time is up. You're cut off. You can have a few more minutes. <laughs> I'm just cutting off everyone else for their design challenge. Your design challenge is still on. <laughs> Give it a few more minutes so I get all of these amazing entries to review pulled up. So looking good. Ooh, one of them looks like it has a password. Oh wow, there are a lot of people trying to send. You're very close. It's looking good. doing over here good so since we're kind of getting close to time why don't we do like a quick sort of walkthrough of what we've accomplished today mm -hmm. and then like sort of talk about what we'll do tomorrow so yeah so you've gotten the basic wireframing done mm -hmm. for the most part across yeah. your six hardboards so this is more about like getting all of so we'll be uh saw on the sketch be, being able to digitize that and then putting it up on the wireframe and then being able to uh build out certain components of like where we want to see certain information mm -hmm. um and then being able to get it all up there um and then going through different sections there's obviously a lot of refining to do um but being able to i guess like prioritize your content is very essential when you're actually building out um, a certain module so trying to get every part of it in there and then being able to tomorrow we'll be diving more into color and then visuals and content actual content and plugging it in so right now what we're seeing is like very rough very trying to like get everything out um, on these wireframes and out on the artboard and then be able to refine it so it's a process of like you know we sketch and then we digitize it and then we go through color and then trying to figure out like what colors we want a lot of the times um, color branding uh, as well impacts how we are building out certain uh, uh, screens so tomorrow okay. it's more about uh, refining which is exciting a lot of visuals mm -hmm. So, yeah. We'll also be talking about the app name tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to narrow it down to three of the fantastic submissions you guys sent in today. And we'll work with you in chat to vote on the best one. So thank you so much for this. Let's, yeah. why don't we zip over and check out some of the design challenge entries we've received today. So we've got this first one. And we'll go through. Oh, oh it looks like we've got a little match chat and then where you can vote on the team nice. on who you think you'd win so it looks like it's like kind of like a predictor app we also have this one wow that's Ooh, beautiful like the artwork in there yeah it's very yeah we got those adobe stock images matches. at work it gives you a schedule your d where can i click oh. Ooh. go live match 
It's a video. Does that play? Nah, it's, <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> Stories. I like so that. good. Yeah. Wait more. Search. This is like very flushed out. Yeah, I know. It was very well thought out. And then we I had wonder, like an hour for them to do basically, this? Basically, yeah. Wow. I mean, I also wonder um, if when we're looking at this too, I think this person might be cheering for Russia. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> like, no, the World is. Cup is in Russia this yeah. year. I'm, I'm actually like had a moment there. I was like, <laughs> no, the World Cup's in Russia. You can see how much soccer I watch. Right? <laughs> um, all right. And then nice. this one is, okay. okay. This is a mobile? Think, oh, I'm not no, scrolling. Hang on, we'll go back. So this is, this looks like maybe it's more of a tablet size, but yeah. maybe it's web. Watch the games and then watch live best moments. It's great. I like the colors. Colors are good. It's really clean, really simple. Ooh. Right. It looks like we have one entry missing from what I've got pulled up, so we'll have to get that pulled up in just one second. All right, we've got a simple screen here that's comparing players, players and scores. Yeah, scores. The logo, it looks like a live feed of sorts Yeah. on scoring. We've got, I think, oh, this looks very familiar, but we'll go, this looks like the mobile app version, maybe? Do we see a website? Oh, it is. I think it's uh, it's by the same person. We okay. just have two entries. We have a oh. mobile version and like the web version. I yeah. like how clean. There, I like the utilization of like space. Like there's a lot of like white space. Yeah. Um, we saw this one. Let's see. We saw this one. We've got an app here. Splash screen. Like okay. articles. Yeah, it looks like it or is timeline newsfeed type thing. Like the bright colors, yeah. this imagery is the really imagery nice. Is great. The logo looks really good. Yeah. All right. We got another website. Ooh. It's very clean. A little hard to read. A lot yeah. of information on there. But are those team no, what are, oh the followers paid and then carrier. Okay. It's a little ranking. Players. Very cool. I like how he's like uh, here she is, like layered um, their text on the landing page there. Yeah, the top looks good. It's pretty cool. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick switch over. Do do do. the last one that we can show. Oh, bold copy, bold. Yeah. These are all so great. I know. Is there anyone that sort of stands out to you? Um, I like the, the one. Can we actually go over? I'm going to close what? this one out, do you think? What's that? Are we safe to close this one yeah. out? Okay. All right. Um, so I know this was probably one of the top ones. Yeah. This one's really nice. It's yeah, simple, I like this one. but um, it's clean. It's pretty bold. Do we? I think this definitely. I think that this combo of the mobile web was definitely in our top. Yeah. All right. So are we safe to let this one go? Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Okay. This one looks good. It's 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 it gets it's the different. Point. Yeah. It's a little simple. Yeah. All right, um, we'll narrow this down a little bit. So the, this is definitely taking a lead. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, I like the visuals in there. The visuals look good. Definitely the really use of great. the header looks really good. It's very clean. Um, and this is the. So this one's cool, but it's a little hard to read. Yeah, Should like we? the type is a little tiny. Okay. So it's like a little hard, yeah. So we'll X that out. Okay. Cool. That's where so I was tracking like all of our sweet app names, guys. <laughs> Um, all right, so I like that how he'd given us sort of like options of like web and mobile, like okay. two different views. Do we have a winner here? As, uh, I'd say as between these two, what are you thinking? I'm thinking whoever. Can I see that real quick? Stories. This Holy is really, I'm like so impressed 
of like how like in an hour they come up with like some really great stuff. Yeah, I mean we've run the challenge oh, all wow. day, so it's possible they were yeah. saving this one especially for us. <laughs> it was so great. But that's pretty great. So um, yes, I think we have a a winner. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yep. All right. I think this is by Adabola Ajose. Congratulations. Ooh. You are today's design or this segment's design challenge winner. Thank you, everyone, for all of your amazing entries. That was really fun to look at. Yeah, that was so great. It's really great. It's awesome. It's like, always, like, inspirational like, to see other people. Sort right? Of, like, how they, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. And, like, again, everybody for participating. Thank you so much. So we still have some time if we want to, yeah. like, start to refine some of your. Yeah, I was just going to go over and make, like, tiny things. We'll color. start to tweak a little bit more. Yeah. So we're pulling again from the wires UI kit. Let's try to see if there are symbols anywhere. Is there a heart or something where I can borrow? They, oh, yep, there you go. Perfect. So great. There you go. Literally a heart. <laughs> Perfect. Good. And that's you're gonna use that to show like people would be able to click that mm -hmm. and, and mark it as a favorite. Yeah. The classic heart symbol. If you need to get more finite too, you can always use the the call the you can edit the size and the oh, yeah. panel there yeah all right that oh, helps. Fixes that way, I know it's just like oh, that's that so way great. you can get a little bit more finite on things little joys yes yeah, <laughs> I mean it makes a difference because sometimes the mouse just doesn't want to cooperate yeah, or it wants to like click to the grid and like, it's just like oh. <laughs> I find in InDesign like I'm always like tweaking little things like that too. like I always like try to go like ex like zoom in to get yeah. it like super like correct and it'll mm -hmm. never happen yeah this is so great you're also using the trackpad for so much of your design work which is like yeah. pretty incredible <laughs> I think you got a shout out for that too. Oh, really? Okay, let me go one in. Careless, we also loved your design. I think we loved all the designs we saw today. They were really great. Like, we appreciate all the efforts of everyone and their design challenge yeah. entries, so. Uh, Dave, you're wondering, you have questions about animations and transitions. So we do have basic transitions in XD, but prototyping is a huge focus for the team this year. So you will be seeing more and more features related to that in the coming months. It's getting all the information in. It's another good uh, time to plug uh, user voice. It's You can go on there and if there's anything you'd like to see, particularly when it comes to animations or transitions, a total wish list, go on to adobexd.uservoice.com and throw in your thoughts. There are a number of different features requested around that, but it's a good way to go and put context around sort of like what you'd like to see, you know, build the design tool you really want to work with. So I think we're pretty close on a name now. We have some ideas on colors, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to figure out. What, do, what do you normally do when you're like building out a color palette? Do you, um, any tools you use or? So I do know there's uh, different, so I go in and I look at like different exemplars. That's mm -hmm. first one good thing. And then being able to narrow down three or four colors oh. that 
it, it ties in with like brand values of like it, you know it, it what the tone of voice is as well and mm -hmm. what the brand goals are so if it's more catered towards a pregnant woman or like an you know financial like there's so many different sort of um uh, industry spaces and then being able to take in from that as well mm -hmm. um so we probably won't be using like neon colors on this one probably not <laughs> no, no. um but we could always try to see um you, you know it's a good explorative process to see how you can also use different colors that are not usually uh, used as well and then being able to kind of see and assess but you know towards the end when you're also doing those colors when you put it in front of the users they usually have like a strong sort of like uh, reaction to it right, as well. Right. It's like, whoa, like this is a food app. Like, why are we? So it's like you're always the users are the, f you know, are the priority. So you'd want to sort of like build it for them and being able to pull in from that. So yeah. So like a, you know, something that would be pleasant to an expecting mother. Yeah. And I mean that's a pretty wide range still even yeah. then. Um, but. I think for them it's like softer, yeah. or, you know. Softer, and it's also like there's a lot of um, content as well, so you don't want it to be too stark or too bright, and there's mm -hmm. like so many different factors as well. And then they're also like, you know, going through this process of like uh, being able to, you know, they're going through their pregnancy and then being able to elevate and like have like certain happy moments in there and then being making it not too jarring mm. um, so that's also critical but I think it all like ties back to like what the brand of the product is what the brand and the goal of the product is and then being able to uh, take in from that do you take uh, accessibility considerations when you're like into play when you're designing and if so, what? How might that play out when you're doing this? Accessibility. Yeah, ex accessibility from you know color blindness to the ability to read certain things, and right? Things, like, things that aren't code related. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of it is also that being able to. It's very different when you're doing obviously when you're um, you know developing it on the web and then when you put it on a phone device, like everything kind of like changes as well. So when you're looking at font sizes, when you're looking at color, what looks really bright on. Um, the on the desktop is very different to how it is on mobile and mm -hmm. that translates so you're also like going in and tweaking those colors and like oh you cannot read it versus like on desktop you can read it very clearly so there's you have to sort of like do a lot of testing and being able to test on different devices and then being able to also natural light versus like um, you know contain light there's a lot of different factors and you know, it's all about the experience and all about like building, obviously, like a, a very uh, good product experience. So um, there's a lot of different things that factor into it as opposed to just like throwing UX in and throwing UI in. Um, there is so many different parts of actually how you build a um, great product. Um, cool. Yeah. Awesome. So. so many things to consider. <laughs> These things are complicated. That's why there's a whole discipline around Yeah. It. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense. A lot of it is like spacing and grid type sizes. There are certain type sizes that translate better um, to mobile versus like on desktop. It is So you have to be cognizant about what kind of type you use, um, what are the character or limits, like kerning. There's so many different sort of like facets of design that goes into play imagery and imagery versus um, kind of, uh, you know, image uh, text on over imagery and how does that translate into a right. smaller real estate um, and then being able to build it for that. So um, iconography is another one where you're using um, certain iconography, but then when you scale it down, it, it kind of reduces um, the spacing and whether or not, so for instance, if, you know, the favorite is, it, it looks huge on our desktop, but then when you put it on a, you know, on our mobile devices, it might seem a little more smaller. So being able to size that and being able to be cognizant about these tiny details, because all these tiny details actually contribute to the larger picture. So makes um, sense. Yeah. Um, it looks like we might have a suggested color palette. Ooh. I'm not sure, if I can get this link to work. Let's see. See what we got. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure that link is working. Oh no. no. Is it broken? 
it looks like Dave is using the Adobe Color. Um, wow, it's like a, a web platform, but also, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we can flip over to my screen Ooh. for a sec. So oh. this is like, it's got like that fresh, earthy feel. Yeah, definitely you know? vibrant. It's vibrant. It's definitely vibrant. Yeah. I love that it's called hot sushi. Hot sushi. I think it was inspired by my lunch. <laughs> so hot good. Hot sushi. Oh, I definitely so, like the color. So it's very good. calming as well. I think that's another thing. Um, and it's very refreshing. I like the greens, the, mm -hmm. the two greens. Yeah, the greens uh -huh. are really nice. Yeah, I love, are... like, the first, even the first three colors, like those greens and orange sort of things. I think that would be... Really nice yeah, for this. I think it'll kind of like help. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna be hungry tomorrow when, I'm gonna <laughs> when you're it. pulling in all of yeah. the food photos. It's like yeah, super it'll get you. <laughs> Uh, we had a very uh, intense dis discussion about all of our favorite greens uh -huh. the last time I did this. Um, <laughs> With Cecilia Wu, she did like this grocery delivery app, but it's specialized in healthy food. Right. So we were just like, I mean, looking at a lot of greens. Yeah, I mean, it was better than looking at cakes like for yeah. hours. Like, I, you know, everyone wanted to go home and eat a salad. At least there was that. <laughs> so you might have been hungry, but at least it was for the good stuff. So awesome. These are um, really great colors. Yeah, we can flip back over to your screen for just we a couple can. of a couple more minutes. Let me wrap up. So yeah, if you use the Capture, Adobe Capture app, you can actually capture color palettes from the environment. So, or like, not the environment, really from anywhere. Um, for instance, I could hold it against this crazy scheme of stickers on my laptop and it would start to pull color palettes based on the colors that it's identifying, um, which is really great because you can grab inspiration really from anywhere. Also, shout out to all the people who are sharing links where you can go and find great color palettes. That's fantastic. Totally open to your suggestions about other color palettes that we could yeah. use. For this one. Color palettes, we need iconography, I mean, a so logo. I was gonna ask, I noticed you didn't put a footer on a few of these artboards. Uh -huh. Was that intentional? And, and what are we thinking there? So we are going to, but right now, I wanted to be able to get all our information in. But this one is that, um, we're, we're gonna tackle it tomorrow, but this would be standard because it's a, a much larger sort of uh, app, so we're only looking at one part of it. Got it. Um, so it's more secondary, um, but yeah, we're going to be adding all of that tomorrow as well. Lots more goodness to yeah. come. Yeah, because like one is like a nutrition section, another is like calendar and community, so it's like di there are different sort of features within this large um, app. So we're really, like for the purpose of these three days, because as you can see, like you've already done a ton in our first day, but there's a lot to cover, even just really flushing out six well-designed, yeah. thought-out artboards and prototyping them too. Yeah. Um, so to cover the entire app would be a lot to ask in three days. <laughs> we're in six hours, really. <laughs> so, but. but like trying to get all of like the crux of it in and then being able to. But we have a solid base for wireframing, at least, right? What's so. that? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so this will be um, sort of getting all of the structure in so we can go fine tune it later and like resize. Like I'm going in like sizing, spacing, and all of that. And then how we're going to put imagery in. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good sort of uh, wireframing first pass, low fidelity wireframing. So it's good. Great, that's good. Okay. All right, well, I think we're gonna wrap up in just a second here. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want our uh, viewers to think about going into tomorrow? Uh, let's see, we need a logo, we need a app name. <laughs> and then we We've need... got the app name under wraps today though. We'll, yeah, we'll circle we back have great suggestions. Tomorrow. That's so good. Um, and then we need uh, color uh, color palettes, um, uh, open for suggestions for like color palettes. So 
Uh, would love to see some color palettes and potentially what we can use tomorrow. Uh, we can review some color palettes and like kind of uh, build out the app as well. So yeah, those are the three things I think. So Last far. 10 second question. On average, how many screens do you design a day? Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, so it really depends um, on priority and deadline. Um, so it, I, I can't even give a number. It's like right. 20, 20, 25. It depends um, how big uh, a UX project is versus... Um, 20, it, 25 a day? It depends. Um, not not a day, but in co like in... For like, a project. Yeah, for a okay. project. Okay, I was um, like, do you sleep? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, thank you to everyone for tuning in today and engaging, for everyone who participated in the design challenge and the chat and win. All of those things are fantastic. A huge thank you to Sarah for again putting up with all of my nonsense and answering all of the questions. <laughs> we will be back tomorrow from 1 to 3 to continue out this beautiful design. So join us for colors, app names, and lots of visuals. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow.